kind of an honor is this for you? I mean, it's a great honor. I mean, uh, it's been a while since I've been back here to the graveyard. So uh, we're, we're taking a little tour around campus with Coach Burson and the family. So I uh, recognize a lot of this stuff. But uh, as you probably know this, this place has definitely changed uh, since I left here, uh, you know, at the beginning of 98. So, uh, but what an honor, um, you know, to, to be a part of this program, uh, which Coach Burson has done a phenomenal job. Obviously, he was the person that started this program here, and, and to be a part of part of this program has been special. Uh, I mean, even looking at the former other players uh, that we know well, a uh, very good group of guys, um, as well as soccer players. So, uh, for for Coach Burson to, to ask me with uh, Mr. Tanner uh, to, to to come back here and, and be honored with this uh, jersey retirement was was a great honor. This is something that you know I've had some pinnacle times uh, in my career and, and things that I won't forget, uh, and this is definitely at the top of those lists so uh yeah this is something that uh my son who's here my, uh, my oldest daughter is here my wife my mom my aunt um some uh, brother and sister is going to be here so it's not just you know me getting to celebrate this but uh, a lot of important people that were important in my life uh growing up and, and coming to this field before it was this stadium <laughs> um so uh i think it's a uh, very special not only for myself but a, a lot of people involved when was the last time you were in town before this I know we came, uh, me and Josh Wolf came at one time. This might, I mean, it had to be 10 years ago at least. Uh, I mean, I think the roost was still here. They might have had one of these buildings up. So, I mean, it's been, it's been, I would say, probably at least 10 years. Your best memories of your playing days here? Um, I always remember this one game. It's so funny. It was, uh, it was against Clemson, and I was just explaining to my son how we used to have the kickboard right here, and this is where all the alumni would be. Uh, but one one time when we played Clemson, I mean, I don't even know how many people. It's probably five or 6,000 people. The stands were full. They were on top of the fence there. Probably had five rows of people outside the line, and that was back when you could stand on the sidelines. And uh, just the support we had from our alumni and, and really getting to see what a ri true rivalry was uh, in college. But uh, I always remember that game against Clemson, which we ended up winning uh, that night. But uh, to see the support, not only from the alumni, but just the fans in general, you know, coming from high school into college and, and having 6,000 people at your game was it was pretty spectacular. You know, you've accomplished a lot in your career. Where does this kind of stack up for you, you think? Like I said earlier, I mean, I've had some pinnacle moments in my life where, you know, things that I always say that, hey, I'm never going to forget this, uh, no matter how old I get. Uh, and this is definitely up at the top of that list with that, you know, I, uh, I always say that I'll never forget, you know, scoring in a World Cup and playing in that World Cup. And like I said, you know, to, to be honored by my alma mater, uh, you know, with this honor um, and, and being that first guy, um, hopefully with a lot more to come, you know, in behind um, is really, really special. So uh, it's definitely at the top of the list there for sure. What were the emotions like when I guess you found out about it and have you thought about what it's going to be like? I was actually uh, at my office and, uh, you know, I like when I'm on the phone, I'm always walking around. So I went outside I was talking to Coach Burson and Mr. Tanner and, uh, uh, you know, I got, I got a little teary eyed, a little choked up um, because, like I said, there is a, a lot of time. This is where, I, you know, I really grew up, you know, came from a boy to, to living on my own, to, to trying to become a man uh, and, and live on my own. But it also... Uh, was a situation where I had to learn responsibility of, of being able to go between school, sports, which is not always the easiest uh, as far as time constraints. But, uh, you know, it was a, a huge transition in my life to be able to, to really uh, put me on that platform to take that next step uh, into professional sports. So uh, um, it, it was definitely a, a, a very heartfelt moment, and I was very proud son being able to see old photos of you this week at all yeah he, they, they, all my kids always laugh at me because they're like this can't be dad he actually has hair <laughs> so it was pretty funny but uh yeah he's uh he's enjoying it uh, he always tells me that he wants to grow up and, and play soccer here as well and and maybe at another school in california i'm not sure so uh um, that's where we live now but uh yeah they they, they get to enjoy the, the old times. Um, it's unfortunate that, you know, they didn't get to see a lot of games. They were uh, him and his um, the oldest sister. I have four children. Um, they were real little um, before right before I retired. But he remembers a, a couple games here and there. But we watch a lot of soccer together. He has a lot of pictures of me uh, in his room, things of that sort. So uh, he's, he's a proud son, which, which makes me proud. What are you doing these days? Uh, so I'm actually in software. So I, I wanted just to... Uh, to be honest with you, being what I call normal, a normal nine to five, which you guys are probably going, what in the world's wrong with this guy? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been, uh, you know, traveling, going since, you know, I was a little kid. And, uh, 
you know, when I was coaching at the Chicago Fire as the assistant for those two years and then the head coach gets fired and they get rid of everybody, uh, it gives you a different retrospect of, of how you don't really have control. Uh, you know, as a player, I did, and I knew it was it was up to me whether I stayed with that team or not. Uh, but when, you, when you're talking about coaching, uh, it's a different ball game. So I looked at my children and, and said, I don't want to change their life. Uh, and if I stay in sports, professional sports, I'm going to have to move at some point and, and affect, uh, you know, my children's lives as far as taking them away from their family uh, that they have around there, their friends, and having to change in school. So... I was like, I live my life as far as soccer, so uh, you know, let's get, you know, settled down somewhere where these these kids are going to get to grow up in an area and enjoy uh, their friends. So uh, that's why I wanted that uh, Monday through Friday kind of job, and I know I got my Saturdays to go watch their soccer games, their softball games. So uh, I made that decision, and it was it was a tough decision, but at the same time, I got uh, you know five other people in my life that it's more important than than just continuing with soccer. Sometimes when athletes come back for these kind of honors, it's a whole new regime and it's a lot of things new. Is it cool to have the coach you had here still still, still here? It's, it's amazing. Uh, um, the fact that he's been able to, to have this longevity and, and the success he's had for so many years. You know, like I said, he started this program, I believe it was back in the late 70s, 78, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the fact that he's still here, it's, you know, you don't see this, you know, too often, <laughs> you know, these, you know, I put them, you know, even though it's college level, but you, you look at them as like the, one of the Bill Belichick's, the guys that, you know, can, can always make something out of what he's got. And I think Coach Burson has done a great job of, of building this program and, and not only building it, but keeping it at an elite level to where it's got to go. I mean, there's always going to be, you know, peaks and valleys um, through, through any organization and whatnot. And yeah, is he going to be number one? or the top five every year? No, that, that's impossible to do in, in, at this level. Uh, but the fact that, you know, uh, you're, you're still getting constantly good teams, good players here, uh, and, the, and the level that he's built this team now that there's a conference, which didn't have a conference when I, back when I played. Uh, but, you know, to, to have all the sport growing and, I mean, just look at the facilities. I mean, like I, was, I missed the kickboard, but now <laughs> behind it you got an unbelievable state-of-the-art locker room with facilities. Uh, so to, to see the, the university continue to sport, uh, what Mark Burson's tried to, to really a accomplish here, uh, you know, in the last 40, 40 plus years is, is, is amazing to see. You still play? No, <laughs> I can barely walk. These <laughs> knees are uh, bone on bone. So uh, the only really time I get out and play is if I get out with my son and kick around with him. Uh, we'll be out here a little bit tomorrow uh, just to kick around. But yeah, if I get going too much, I'll, I'll be bedridden for a couple of weeks. <laughs>